then, as you can see, I am in the car right now, and I'm looking at the road, not at my phone, and I wanted to get on here today and talk about being in the car and how we can still enrich our children's minds while we're in the car and how they can learn even when we're driving from one place to another. As some people know, we are a family of four and we are also a homeschooling family. We're typically on the go, whether it be for just the typical family stuff, like grocery shopping, um, getting gifts for birthday parties, or um, going to church. And then we also have busy things in our lives like our homeschool co-op that we go to once a week. And so we're often in the, in the car and we're often together and we're, we're talking. And another thing that I want to point out is that in our vehicle right now, our radio is not working. So for the last, um, I'd say probably four months or so, we have not had a radio in here, so it it leaves for a lot of talking and conversation, which is a good thing, but it, it also can be negative. currently in the process of installing a new radio. Our old one was not put in correctly and by the people who did it and it just drained our battery several times for some reason. So my husband is in the process of redoing it. So here's what our radio looks like. So we don't have a radio right now. So my point about the radio is that without it we've talked a lot more we conversate more than we would if we had the radio there are several ways that we incorporate learning through our conversation in the in the car um, we are also a family who loves to take road trips and um, travel being that my husband is a travel agent we do that quite often so we are often together talking. So with all that being said, I have found out in my experience that just talking, just simply talking and having a conversation with our kids and our family members is huge with they're learning and enriching their minds. It's just... So there is a lot of stuff that children learn just through simple conversation that we have. And so I would say that's the biggest and most helpful thing is just conversating with your children. While you're in the car, there are several ways that you can do this. You can just simply talk, you know, ask how their day is going, or you can, you know, ask what they want to do later, and, or have them describe to you something, and get them talking. Another way that we can help enrich our children's minds while we're traveling, road tripping, just driving from point A to point B in the car, is to play games. One of our favorites is to play I Spy. And... Typically what we do is one of us starts and we just say, I spy something green. And so then everybody looks and tries to guess what that thing is that that, that person has spied until we guess it. And we do colors, we do letters, we do shapes. So you can do all of those while you're driving and, and your children pay attention to the details and they look around and they observe and it gets them talking and conversating which definitely helps them not be bored and helps them learn. Um, 
Another fun thing that we do in the car is we find letters. So as we're driving, we look for signs that say certain letters. You can either play the game where you start at A and you find something that starts with an A, and then you find B, and you know, and whoever can find the most would win. And you could also play it where you do the I spy, like I spy letter C, and they look around and they find it. Um, and you can also do this with words. You can say I spy a word that starts with the letter S and ends with the letter P. And that, and Liam is saying that stop. Another thing that I think is a is something that a lot of people probably do is singing. We sing quite a bit in the car. A lot of times when we go somewhere, when our, when we're on our way somewhere we will sing the alphabet together. Other times, we'll sing songs like, how much is that dog in the window? <laughs> or, you know, any other song, any songs that your children love, you can sing. And it's fun, and you're talking, and they're using their language, um, and their minds, and so it, it's a great thing. It's another thing to do while you're in the car. Another thing that is, something that probably a lot of people do but some people may not think about it and this might help them pointing out when a light is green or yellow or red and then and then maybe talking about what that means and what we do when that happens pointing out signs and pointing out um, like the red light green light you know what a stop sign looks like what a train railroad sign looks like those things help children become aware of their surroundings and just their awareness for um, their environment and for recognizing signs you know to get a driver's license you have to be able to know what those signs are to pass so at a young age they're learning these things just through conversating and, and from us pointing it out to them Look out your windows and you'll see a lake in just a minute. What color is the water? It's dirty. It is not. What color is it? <laughs> yes, it is blue. You're right. So Liam just told me something that's really cool. Liam, you wanna you wanna tell them I what? He has a straw because we had water earlier and he has a straw and he just made a letter L with it. So that's another neat idea is if your children have a straw or have anything in the car that they can be creative with while, while you're driving, they can make shapes, they can make letters, numbers, and be very creative and still learn in the car. Also, I don't know if, oh, you should try and talk to me. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I sometimes just talk, like I just, I talk a lot, and so I feel like I'm just talking a lot of the time, so sometimes when I'm driving, I'll say things like, I'm about to turn left, and oh, I almost made that light, and you know, I'll just kind of like keep talking, and so they hear my conversation to them, and I just wanted to say that um, I'm not trying to say here that we should always be um, trying to make sure we're teaching our children or we should always be constantly talking to them um, because obviously there's a time for everything and sometimes we just want to listen to the radio. Sometimes, sometimes we just don't feel like talking and that's okay. Um, what I am trying to say, the whole point of why I wanted to do this video is because I feel like sometimes we are very busy and there are opportunities that when we are busy we can still find some time to teach our children and to help enrich their minds a little more and so sometimes if we're too busy we can include some of that time in the car. For 
watching and please subscribe. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.